welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. We continue now by talking football and the UEFA Champions League. Match day four of the group stage ended a short while ago. In Group C at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid, 14-time champions Real Madrid hosted Portuguese outfit Braga. Let's look at the highlights. And away we go with the visitors from Portugal. Kicking from right to left in the first 45 minutes against Real Madrid. Well, Braga have had plenty of possession actually in these early moments. Three and a half played. Christian Borja cutting inside. Bruma's little back heel. And it's been given, I think. Lucas Vasquez has conceded a penalty. Jalo facing Kepa Aritha Balaga. Who saves it? Swung back in and too high. And his foot is on the line. It's a great save by Lunin. Near Kate. That's a poor ball. Cut out Valverde. Real danger here, and Brahim Diaz tucks it in, but the referee has said no goal. Brahim Diaz doesn't know it yet, but there's been a foul on Nia Kate. That's a really good ball. This is dangerous. And it's into the roof of the net from Brahim Diaz, and this time it'll count. Real Madrid threatening here. It's Vinicius Junior. It's 2-0. Brilliant finish by Vinicius Junior. Outstanding goal. And they are so quick. Here goes Rodrigo. Vinicius Junior to his left hand side. Brian Diaz is getting forward. This is Rodrigo. Brilliant ball. Oh, what a fabulous goal. Bouncer's hoping it might come his way. It's swept into the penalty area. And a great save from Lunin to deny Abel Ruiz with a close-range header. Braga almost had the last word in this game. Almost, but not quite. And the referee from Turkey blows his whistle, and Real Madrid are into the knockout stages of the Champions League once again. Real Madrid making light work of Braga, even without Jude Bellingham. And of course, Lance, they have advanced to the last 16 yeah. and will be hoping that they can go on to win the Champions League. What a performance from them today. Yeah, four from four in the Champions League so far, Real Madrid. And they're a results team. Braga tried their best today. They tried to manage the game, Braga. They had more ball possession, in fact, and they actually had more passes and more total passes and more completed passes so those statistics tell you that they were trying to manage the game but Real Madrid is a results team and um, they are the best in Europe their record suggests they are and um, it was just difficult for Braga to hold them off and uh, Rodrigo was outstanding today for Real yes. Madrid and um, they got they got the win they deserved and the win that their fans expected. Yeah, Lance speaks about Rodrigo being brilliant today, but I think a lot of credit also goes to Vinicius Jr. Whenever he steps up and he takes the leadership role, he takes responsibility, I think Real Madrid is a stronger team. Well, in Group A at the Parken Stadium in Denmark, Danish champions FC Copenhagen welcomed the three-time champions Manchester United. Here are the highlights. Copenhagen will start with positive intent. That's just what they're doing. Supporting run from Wan Bissaka. Rashford is available once more. It's a good break into the box from McTominay. Copenhagen opened up and it's 1 0. Rasmus Hoyland has scored. It's a great start for Eric Ten Hag and his team. One that he would have dreamt of last night, the way that they've been playing. An early goal and a great start for Manchester United. Elian Nussi swings the cross in and Onana gets to it, nearly collided with wan who was sliding in at pace. Can Manchester United break? Hoyland is going through the middle, it's Garnacho into the box and it's Hoyland for two! Two tap-ins! You think there, look up, have some awareness, square it, he doesn't. He takes the shot on, Grabara makes a decent save, 
And there's Hoyland with the simplest of tasks at the far post to give his side a two-goal lead. Achauri, two to beat. Couldn't do it. Rashford trying to shield the ball. Has managed to do that. wan clears. This is very quickly after the incident. This is the incident here. Achuri loses possession and Rashford there nice. stands yeah. on yellow. He just goes over the top of the ball. Oh. Now, is, is that a red card or is it a natural movement to try and shield the... He's in trouble. Here we go. Here we go. We know what's coming. Rashford is trying to smile, but it's a grimace, really. He's sent off, and that is a game-changer. Look at Eric Ten Hag, look at the Manchester United players. And it comes from Gonzalez, and it's off the frame of the goal, with Onana only able to wave at it. Look how deep the whole ten of Manchester United are. Chance here, and it's taken, and it's El Yanuti who scored. It hasn't taken long at all. Played in by Ankers and helped on. Came off Moran. And it's a penalty. The referee points to the spot. Celebrations behind the goal. Maguire saying he's hit my arm. Or maybe he's saying he didn't hit my arm. There's two calls for a penalty. There's one on Moran, but I think it's given for the Maguire one. It's there. Gonzalez, Maguire's arm out from his body. And it strikes him below where the shirt sleeve is cut off. The... Here we go. And Gonzalez levels it. Copenhagen 2, Manchester United 2. Bruno Fernandes to lift the ball forward. Can Manchester United steal an advantage again? It's Maguire, and it's Falco clears. Maguire says handball. Hoyland is adamant. Garnacho is appealing as well. Well, he's adamant, Harry Maguire, isn't he? Eyes on the ball all the way. It does hit the arm of Lucas Lerea. Here we go. Over to Donatas Rumshas. Penalty Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes. And he scores. And he made it look like it was the easiest thing in the world. Sorensen once more. Falk lifts it in. And it's a goal, it's Lorea who scored! Stealing past Dallo to level matters once more. Boylison with time to deliver. Oscarson didn't get it. Rudy Barty does! 4-3 Copenhagen! That should do it. The referee's had a look. That does do it. And it's a famous win for Jakub Neistrup and his Copenhagen team of battlers. What a time it is to be a Manchester United supporter. Well, Lance, we had Bruno Fernandes restoring Manchester United's lead after Marcus Rashford was sent off, but it was not enough because Copenhagen had a lot more in their tank. They got over the line. Yeah, Red Devils bottom of the table in, in the group at the moment, and um, Copenhagen moved it to second ahead of Galatasaray. A tough loss for Man United today, I thought, though. Because the Marcus Rashford red card for me is contentious. I know that as long as that goes to VAR and you look and relook and the still picture shows Rashford's boot jarring into the player's ankle, it's hard not to send him off. But I don't think it was deliberate. I think he was positioning himself to, to keep possession of the ball. And... Um, it was, uh, uh, Rashford is not a player that gets red cards. I think this is only second red card in competitive football. He yeah. had one five years ago against Burnley. But I think that was unfortunate. That happened late in the first half and there were 13 minutes added on at stoppage for the, for the halftime break. So a tough loss for Manu today, but I, I think it's just reflective of uh, Manu's woes um, for years now. Yeah. And. Uh, at the moment, things looking pretty dismal for Manu. But I, I thought it was unfortunate for them because I think that Rashford was unfortunate to get the red card. But as soon as it went to VAR, you know that the red card is going to go. Yeah, because, they don't think about it. Yeah, when intense. you look back at it, the more you look at it and when you freeze the picture and so on, it looks reckless and savage. 
which I don't think um, Rashford intended. Um, yeah. So unfortunate, but that's that's how the cookie crumbles. For sure, and you know a lot of calls for Eric Ten Hag to go, but there's a question that's trending. If Eric Ten Hag goes, then who's going to occupy that position? So yeah. maybe it would be wise to keep him. Well, the fact is, I don't think, given what we have seen from Man United over the past seven or eight years and the transition of coaches throughout the system, I think people should recognize that it isn't a coaching problem that Man United has. And um, I don't think it makes sense to fire Ten Hag um, based on where they are now. And um, they just have to fix all the problems in the club. Yeah, bigger problems than that. Well, the other results on the day, so what do we have for us? All right, we had Napoli, a 1-0 draw against Union Berlin. Real Sociedad getting the win against Benfica. Arsenal overcoming Sevilla. A win for Bayern Munich, thanks to those two goals from Harry Kane. A win for Copenhagen, PSV, Real Madrid and Inter. All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 